here, it's about uh, seven o'clock. Uh, slept okay, it was a bit cold. Been greeted with um, quite a nice sunrise this morning. Most of it's gone now. Um, we can get some pictures of it. Uh, I don't know how well you'll see them on the um, the screen, but we did actually get some red colour this morning, so it's worked out really cool. So just doing some more standard HDRs, really, with the filter on as well. Um, friend from earlier has come back as well. He's staying in a hut close by, so you probably see the um, the hue there, just about. But um, yeah, check out some of the pictures. Wow, this is amazing, I'm speechless. The light, as we come up now, I don't know where you can see it on there, but the light is just starting to hit the top of the, um, the peaks. This is awesome, this is, I'm just so tired, it's hard to uh, express it properly. Um, I didn't think it'd happen, I thought it was gonna happen on sunset when the, the sun was behind it, but because it's coming up uh, slightly to the left of the peaks over here, it's actually shining across and hitting them, hitting them as it comes up. So I didn't think it'd happen at all, but it's um, yeah, really nice sun sunrise. Some of the colours starting to come up in the lower clouds now as well around it. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how these come out. They're looking great on the camera. tent away now I'm feeling a bit more alive um, all the lights kind of gone or the best of lights gone anyway like I say as you saw there's some really cool um, red skies uh, with a bit of the color hitting the peaks it didn't last long it only lasted about two minutes and then the, the color from the, the kind of peak was gone so I think I've got about three four images um, with the color on them I'm just gonna get the camera out now take um, the obligatory uh, selfie shot by the lake um, but first I just wanted to show you this um, thing that I bought for, for coming over here it's a travel pillow um, normally I just get away putting a load of clothes um, under kind of whatever you can um, under a coat or something like that but it's never that great to be honest and um, it's always good if you can get a good night's sleep so I'm one of those people that definitely needs something you can uh, put your head on so um, I mean it's not exactly something you'd like you'd have it in your own home it's not amazing but basically it's a travel pillow it's this big it's very small um, you see it's smaller than my hand um, it weighs hardly anything and you basically blow it up so it comes in its own stuff sack which is um, stitched to it it's gonna be a bit difficult filming this because I've got to hold the phone in one hand but all you do you grab the inside pull it out and then you get something that big so it's not huge but it's uh, big enough to put your head on and then all you do is you get this valve um, <coughs> blow it up and inside here there's a um, 
kind of air reservoir on top there's a, a bit of memory foam that actually blows up it's actually quite comfortable to sleep on so considering it's so small um it was quite cold last night i woke up about four times in the night and um i've got some good hours actually so i went to bed about um half eight so um, i didn't do bad but every time i woke up um my head was still on the pillow so it's uh pretty good to be honest considering how small it is um try and give you a rough scale it's um probably i don't know where it'll work but i can't do it one hand it's probably twice the size of my head so by the time the head's in the middle of it it's um it's pretty good but anyway what a what a view to uh wake up to it's an amazing place i've got plans to go to zamat today uh, I've been speaking to a guy up here quite a lot last um, you know, last night and this morning um, who gets up this region quite a lot. He's not been to um, the lake I want to go to, which is Riffel, um, off by Zermatt before, but he seems to reckon there'll be really good um, shots up there. So it's quite a similar composition to this lake really up there. It's just uh, you get to see the Matterhorn as well, which I really want to see. Talking to him, I might give Austria a miss and head straight down to the Dolomites, actually. It looks like there's some good pictures to be had there, and um, he's given me a few locations to go to, which is uh, really handy of him. <coughs> really nice of him, anyway. Um, like I say, I'm about to head off, and I'll, uh, I'll see you uh, at the bottom uh, when I'm heading off from Grinnell. <laughs> station again I don't know if you can see it I can't see it on the phone sorry but it's um, roughly around my finger I don't know if you can see it you can just about see the walkway from here I've got about 10 minutes um, left the battery in one, um, in one of the power I'm sorry in one of the drone batteries so um, I'm just gonna quickly fly down this um, pass I want to try and get high up and film the river um, see if there's any pictures I can be had with it and um, just kind of drop down over the edge really. You can probably see Quinn roll from there. Um, like I say, hopefully I've got enough in the battery. I would have thought so. And then um, you never know, the, the walkway might be a bit um, quieter this morning. I didn't actually get a chance to look at the, the floor earlier. It was, um, or yesterday it was, it was so manic up there. It would have taken me about half an hour to get to it.
Right, it's just before sunset. I've been making my way um, through the Alps today, uh, through a lot of the passes. Sorry about the noise here, it's a bit windy and there's um, a, a little waterfall down there. You can't really see it, it kind of comes uh, through a crevasse. <coughs> um, I was going to go to Zermatt so I could have a look at the Matterhorn and get a cable cut up. But I've looked at the weather forecast and the next few days are going to be quite overcast and raining. So I'm probably going to give that a miss now. Uh, I could still go up, but I know that if I went up, um, I'd be tempted to try and stay for sunset and sunrise, which means uh, getting a cable car up and camping again. And um, I just don't want to be camping when it's raining and just for no reason if it's overcast anyway. So I'm probably going to go and look at a glacier instead, which isn't too far. Um, from the mat, it's probably about an hour closer, so it's um, a bit better. Uh, for driving and it's closer to a free camping spot as well. There's a, a camping spot just um, about 20 minutes down the road from um, the glacier, um, like a free spot for um, camper vans and things like that. So there's not many in Switzerland. So um, All I'm going to do is about 10 minutes before sunrise, I've stopped at this, um, <laughs> this mountain pass here. It's actually really nice. There's a lot of passes in um, Switzerland that really make really good photos but this one's actually quite nice because you've got a bit of colour in the trees on um, the road and uh, these snow-capped peaks in the background at the moment there's a bit of cloud in the sky and the sunset is coming from this direction so it's not going to hit them bang on but hopefully it will put a bit of light on the side of them or uh, maybe one or two of them will capture it so I'm just going to hang around here for a bit and um, hopefully we'll get some good light. I saw you probably can't hear this very well um, or see the light though. It's just started to change now. It's got a bit of red in the sky. Um, even if it doesn't go totally red, it's still going to be a really nice image. We've got this road down here which gives a nice leading line right through the sea which diverts your eyes up to the peaks um, <laughs> you've also got these most of the trees are green i've seen their evergreens i haven't changed yet but you've also got those um, <laughs> with a lot of um kind of brown trees um uh, aut autumnal trees between them which stand out a lot and you also got the cars going up and down the road here which uh, give you a nice kind of light going up through the road so it should be a really nice image i'm favoring at the moment the um, portrait shot just because it gives you that nice leading line from the edge of the image um, but i'm going to try when the light gets a bit better i'm going to go landscape and zoom in a bit more on the range it's such a nice range the way it's snow capped in contrast to the um, the trees and the road it should be really nice we've got a stream flowing down here as well which gives another leading line so this image is kind of every thinking what it's a perfect shot Right, that's the best of the light gun now. I'm going to stay here a bit longer just to um, catch some of the lights coming up the um, up through the pass. Uh, hopefully they'll come out quite nicely. Um, I just want to show you before it gets too dark. I'm using a polarizer on this picture because the sun is setting that way, like I said earlier, which is about 90 degrees. So you're going to have a lot of um, polarized light coming off the peaks here, uh, which makes it look quite um, soft and um, at hazy um, so I'll switch it around to the front camera on the phone hopefully you can see the difference but when the sky was a bit redder earlier it was making a, a massive difference to the image so right I get this isn't going to come out very well because it's not exposed in the back of the uh, camera properly but and it's hard to see now because all the colors gone gone from the sky and the clouds have as well um, but you should be able to see that's with the polarizer off and that's with it coming on it's like I said, it's very hard to see the difference on the phone, but you should be able to see the haze getting cut away.
like I say, it's very hard to see at the moment on this, but when you're taking an actual image, it makes a massive difference. So, uh, yeah, really pleased with these images. Um, considering I didn't make it to the mat and I was just driving down here, um, I'm really happy of how they came out. Thank you.